horrible histories. Kids got a, uh, I guess, a weekly dose of history in like a really cool, like comedic way, which is right up my alley. I love comedy, especially when it's like kind of weird and quirky, which from the looks of it, that's kind of what this is. I've never seen, I haven't even seen like a clip from it, I don't think. So this is gonna be a brand new experience for me. Terrible Judas, gorgeous Georgian, slimy Stuarts, Royal Victorian, woeful wars, ferocious fights, stingy castle, daring knight, horrors that defy description, cut from castle, bullet, you're like, yeah, you're a puppet. Fight, 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 come on, fight, oh, no, fight, on. oh, it's a fight, 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 fight. why? Oh, it's the latest Roman thing. You get your two favourite slaves to fight to the death in front of your graveside. What ever for? Oh, it's very noble. The loser's like a sort of sacrifice to the dead man. We are gathered here today to mark oh the passing of Marcus. Teacher's coming! Us. Yeah, very good to see you all working hard, but I'm afraid we must push on. Look at oh. right. how skinny tell me he is. Where we got... Oh! <laughs> was not expecting that. In the First World War, lots of us soldiers had to fight in horrible trenches, and most of the trenches were full of lice. <laughs> uh, uh. Crumbs, they're different colours. The nipple's much longer. We must have what is going on right now? <laughs> Come on, so egg, random. Oh my god. True or false? If soldiers in the trenches were caught in a poisonous gas attack, they used to wee on their handkerchief and put it over their nose and mouth. It's probably true. True. Yeah. The chemicals in the urine kept out the poisonous gas. That's disgusting. Life though. really. Please welcome Obama. So we were talking about the Romans. What's going on? <laughs> What's wrong with the bread? Ah, uh, it is made of beans and sawdust. Oh. And this is a uh, set coffee. Uh, this we make by mixing uh, the nuts with uh, coal tar and sugar. Hmm, that sounds terrible. Well, I've just brought in some milk, watered down to make it go further. Uh, it's illegal, but uh, I thought it was a good idea, what with all the shortages. Mmm. <laughs> I'll make it taste nicer. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh my god. Pirates. Wait, we're pirates now? What is going on? Pirates terrorized the, the world seas for hundreds of years. Yes, pirate shorthand for we're going to kill you. If you stick around, you'll be killed. If you try and run, You'll be killed. Yes, thank you. That's making me feel so much better. Yeah, but it's fine, isn't it? Because you haven't actually received the black spot. There's a black spot! 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 This could take some time. Rule one! Fighting! No fighting! Hey? It's antisocial, and it's a good way to lose an eye, isn't it, Mulligan? Really? It's a genuine rule. There'll be none of that. He leaves you with a bottle of rum and a loaded pistol. Now the choice is yours. You can starve to death slowly, or you can end it all swiftly. <laughs> new from Stone Age Tools comes a brand new set of Stone Age Tools. Yes, it's the all-purpose Stone Age Tool set <laughs> for all those Stone Age tasks that need doing around the cave. The great chief of our Stone Age tribe is dead. And so, with all due reverential pomp and ceremony, his body is laid to rest in a ditch. His adoring wife there, clearly upset by the tragic occasion, as well she might be, she's going to be buried with him. Warrior! Fight your way through history! You are a Viking, the most terrifying warrior the world has ever known. It's time for you to invade Britain. How to vote in a Georgian election. Number one, turn up at the polling station. Number two, go home if you're a woman. <laughs> Please welcome to Horrible Histories, the four King Georges of the Georgian era with Born to Rule. There are four of them? Okay. I took the throne of England just cause... I was Protestant, a German prince whose English tank King George number one. Born to rule over you, King George four, three, one, and two. 
and I was the bad one. I was the mad one. And I was the fat one. We were born to rule over you. Me, I was as bucky as a bunker's kangaroo. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to uh, be jumping around to so many different things in history. So that was, that took me a minute to get used to because I was like, okay, I was set for the Romans for this entire time and now we're going to uh, World War One, and then to the Vikings and then to the Georgian age, I guess. But I liked it, you know? We don't really have a, um, a kid's show over here in the U.S. like this that um, is just focused on teaching history. So I think that that is um, a really cool thing that you guys have over in the UK. And I learned a lot actually from this. The Georgian thing <laughs> threw me off for a, a few seconds. My, my first thought went to Georgia, the country. And I thought, okay, are we learning about Georgia, the country? That's kind of weird though. And then my mind went to Georgia, the state here. I was like, Okay, so are they going to jump over to here to the U.S. and talk about Georgians? And it wasn't until like maybe 10, 10 seconds into her talking, I was like, oh, this is the, I guess, the Georgian era over in the U.K. Because I know that you guys name certain eras after kings and stuff like that. I, I thought it was just one king, though. Uh, I didn't know that there were four of them in succession like that. that. That's cool, though, like learning about the different kings with just a simple song like that uh it makes it much much easier to to like understand and to remember i before this i had no idea about the georgian era or the kings so now i've got an idea for what that is <laughs> it's just with a quick like three minute song it's it's, in, it's incredible really i really love this show i can't wait to watch the rest of it i am going to do uh all of the episodes in all of these seasons uh thank you guys for this suggestion i had no clue that this show existed prior to my youtube channel and everybody telling me that i should watch this yeah really like i said really enjoyed the experience thank you guys for recommending it and i'll see you guys next saturday for episode two